Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I've got my cat coffee pajamas on today. And today's tea, <clears throat> the last one in the This Brutalities haul is Terrifier. Okay, put reading glasses on. Sorry to block the screen. This one has Ceylon black tea, freeze-dried cherries, orange peels, natural cherry cola, orange and peach flavors. In other words, it doesn't say natural, so probably artificial. Peach pieces, apple pieces, and marigold flowers. Use one to one and a half teaspoons per eight ounces of water. Steep three to four minutes at nine, oh, 900, 195 degrees. Yes, I did not sleep well. Art the Clown, LLC 2021, and Dark Age Cinema, LLC 2021. Packaged by Brutalities, www.brutalities.com. You can't see through this one in the back, so you can't see what's in it. Maybe if I can shake it around a little bit, maybe if you can, you can tilt the camera, maybe you can see... No, it's too dark. Okay. But there are pieces of fruit. You can see, I can see pieces of fruit in here, and I wish they would have had the back clear so I could show you. There, are, you can see the apple and peach pieces in there and the orange peel. Almost freeze dried cherries. So, this one is going to taste mainly like a cherry cola. Got my Dia de los Muertos mug, the one that I was able to save during my move. I smell cherry, orange, and peach all mixed together. The orange and the peach, with all the cherry cola and everything else, the orange and peach pop up first. And take cherry cola just a little bit. Getting a little bit of what feels tastes like feels I mean tastes like sour cherry on the back end. So for the cherry and the peach pop up first with the cherry lingering and then that Actually, it's kind of a jumble at this point. The orange, cherry, and peach are all jumbled together. It tastes the orange now. Sorry if this sounded a bit inco incoherent. I've been sleeping a lot since Monday evening. The air quality has not been that great here. It's been between poor and unhealthy for people in sensitive groups, which children and older people and people with breathing problems. I do have bronchitis and it had, well, it hasn't been as rough breathing here because the humidity seems to help. Um, with all the smoke in the air still, Depending on the smoke at any given day, I'm not finding, I'm not wheezing, but I do have days where my chest feels congested, and my sinuses feel congested, and sometimes my chest aches, and as I said, I believe before here, my air conditioner is a wall unit, so basically they cut a hole in the wall, put in an air conditioner, and the air comes in from the outside. There is a filter, but... the air still blows in. So you so if there's smoke outside, whatever is going on outside, it comes in. Some of the particles are filtered through the air conditioner filter, but you still get the air. So you still the smoke is still coming in and 
you know, while it's trapping those filters, helping trap some of the particles, the air itself is still coming in. So the air quality, if it's bad outside, is typically bad in my apartment as well. And it's worse in the living room than in the bedroom. It's radiant heat and cooling. So the, the water goes through the baseboards and out the Uh, radiator radiating baseboards in the winter and in the summer it goes through the air conditioner but again the air comes from outside so yes I have not been feeling that great off and on since the whole since the fires in Canada but the worse the air quality is the worse I feel <clears throat> and again this week has been another week where I just want to sleep on my days off yesterday I was pretty much all I did was sleep Feeling a bit better today, but as you can see, as you can hear rather, I'm still scratchy, and that's mainly partly from the smoke, I would imagine, and from the pollen and dust in the air. And then get back to the tea. Uh, now I'm getting more of the cherry cola flavor. I kind of changed what I said and kind of botched up in the beginning there. It's or, the orange and peach and cherry all play together. The cherry kind of comes up toward the end at first, and then you taste more of it as, as you're drinking the tea. And then toward the end, very end, for some reason, that's where I'm getting the cherry cola flavor. I can't taste the apple. It's predominantly the or apples aren't. No, not apples. Not no, I can't talk this morning. It's predominantly the oranges, cherry, and the peach with just a bit of cherry cola. Would I buy it again? Yes. Um, would I buy it immediately? No. It's on my list. It's not down as far on the list as should I put a spell on you? Although it's not toward the top either. It's Okay. I think I need to rethink hit or miss because there are a lot of things in snacks and drinks and things that I have had that are kind of good, but not great. So I need to rethink that because that was a fairly recent addition was hit and miss because if it's really good or really bad, that works, but it doesn't cover the the middle ground so we'll bear with me I will try to find it go I will just either excuse me find another way to put it or just give up on the hit or miss completely and go just go I think that's what I'll do I'll give up on hit and miss uh, I might mention it occasionally but I'm going to go back to a more level comparison or more honest no I don't want to say more honest but you know uh, brain function I'm just going to let you know, basically. It's good, but not great. I would buy it again. Like I said, I would, I would buy it again, but not right away. That one and you'll, uh, should I put a spell on you or toward the bottom of my list? This one being slightly higher. The other ones I would buy again. The, cherry, the orange peach cherry cola flavor, I'm not overly fond of in a tea. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good, but it's not great. And Neva, since you're doing 100 Days of Halloween and Trish and everybody else, um, I will confess, I have not seen a lot of these movies. Most of them I haven't seen. I was raised slightly differently than some people. And I was married at 20. Um, just because. And basically look, what I'm trying to say is I was not raised, I was raised the same as a lot, not a lot of people, some people, but not a lot. I didn't have a lot of exposure to the newer horror movies. Um, I did watch, after I after I was in my 40s, I was in 30s and 40s, I was in my, well in my 40s. That's when I started, I watched um, House of a Thousand Corpses, 
Devil's Rejects, um, the, two, the Wreck movies, at Resident Evil, I like you know, the Resident Evil movies. When I was younger, it was more Twilight Zone, The Outer Limits, Alfred Hitchcock, and then the older, older movies, the classic monsters. One of my brothers did like The Shining. My brother Gary liked The Shining. I did not like it. It scared the out of me. Um, I think I was, I do think I was at my grandma's. Or maybe I was at home. When I was a kid, I saw um, the Lizzie Borden movie with Liz, uh, Elizabeth Montgomery. That was, a, that was an old movie when I was a kid. Um, that one seriously gave me nightmares. So I perhaps watched the some of the scary, scary horror movies a little too soon, and it kind of put me off. Um, when I got older, it wasn't so bad. The Universal Monsters weren't so bad; they were funny. Um, there was then there was I saw the one you know I was growing up as a kid. I saw the one with the the spiders, I think, or was it the ants? One of those two. Um, I've seen sci-fi horror. I watched the original Planet of the Apes, and I. When I got older, I watched the remake of The Planet of the Apes. I've seen two, I believe, two versions of The Island of Dr. Moreau. I think one of them was my sister and I had seen with our brother, Carrie. And then there was the older version. So I've seen an older version and a version with Michael York, I believe. Which I think the Michael York one was the newer one. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so I've seen those. Um, Godzilla. God's, love some Godzilla movies. Um, my niece Autumn um, was allowed to watch Poltergeist when she was a kid. I would not have watched Poltergeist. I, I did eventually. I had to watch um, Sleepy Hollow when it came out. My um, boys were not allowed to watch it. I was going to let them, but we'll just leave it at that. Um, I've seen anim horror anime. My kids and I have read some horror, horror mangas through Shonen Jump. Um, and the creepiest one, I don't know if it was Banana Fish, but there was one, it was me and ran out of Benjunji Ito, where this couple was walking on a pier. This is all I remember. I, re I read parts of it. They're walking on a pier and they smell dead things. It's just, and then there were these creep things creeping walking on the pier and they were eating people that might have been the banana fish i don't know it's like and also there are anime like um inayasha um if you like some good anime horror inayasha is good um helsing yeah helsing i haven't seen helsing ultimate i saw parts of it i wasn't overly fond of it um yeah, Helsing, Helsing Ultimate. Um, actually, Full Metal Alchemist has some gore, scary bits in it. You might like that. Um, there are a lot of horror anime out there as well. Um, digging back one that my kids and I never should have watched, but you, some of you hardcore might like it. Um, it's from it's from the eighties, probably early nineties. Zarem the Animation. Having had having lost a brother, that was like the worst one I could have watched because that Gren's death hit me like a like a freight train and I did I'm sixty one and I'm still not appreciating that. That was too sad. I think there I still think there should have been a way to save him. <laughs> and then there were Japanese horror movies like of course The Ring, The Grudge, and I saw one on on YouTube on a horror on a um channel that does old Japanese horror movies. Dark Water. That one is seriously creepy. Those are some good ones. Um, so that's... And like I said, I've not seen Terrifier. I have not seen... Believe it or not, I've not seen Carrie. I wasn't, wasn't a big... Something about Blood and Gore originally which just did, didn't sit well with me. My brain didn't like it. But... Those are classics. I've never seen Carrie. 
yes, I'm going to lose some, you know, I might lose some goth cred here, but because I got into the whole thing later than most people because I was raised strictly. I was raised strictly. And then as I got away from home, I found myself gradually a little bit more and more as time went on. Um, Jaws is not strictly a horror movie per se, but it is kind of as gory. Um, oh, when I did see <clears throat> Tremors, Tremors is scary as heck. That one's creepy. Paranormal Activity, not so fond of. They were really campy. The found footage is just kind of weird. And the noise, the, the demon makes like, ah, it's like, what the heck was that? You know, so there's some random picks and suggestions of, for horror movies that I've seen and have not seen that you might like. Um, Shark Week, since it's Shark Week, I've never seen it, but Sharknado comes to mind. And of course, the Jaws movies, obviously. Um, Neva would recommend Meg. Um, so check those out. I'm not hashtagging this 100 Days of Halloween because I've got my own little things I do with, when I try to remember to do them. So there's some movies for you. And again, back to the T. Uh, again, it's not my most favorite. It's good, but not great. Um, it's drinkable. Since it's got a, it, it eventually leans into a cherry cola flavor. My guess is it would probably be better iced with some sweetener. So if I think about it at some point, I might try it iced to bring out the cherry, the cherry flavor, the cherry orange and peach with the cherry cola a little bit more, just like the uh, Chai Put a Spell on You is better. He, you know, was a milk in it. Maybe, I don't know. I think I put a little bit of honey in it. That one was better with milk and a little bit of sweetener to Make it taste a little bit more like a chai. Again, I'm not a big lemongrass fan. So that's mainly what killed it for me was the lemongrass. Um, but that's a different tea. But that one is good with with a little bit of milk and some sweetener. So that saves that for me. Again, it's not on my top. Not on my top. Not on the top of my list. It's not on my top several out of all the brutalities I've tried now. It's toward the bottom. Uh, again, Cherifier is, again... That one I might revisit, again, not as a hot tea, but as a cold tea. Like I said, it would probably be better served with a little bit of sweetener over ice as an iced tea. My um, orange juice pitcher is empty now. I had Connemara Irish cream. No, was it Irish cream? No, I think it was Irish cream. See, even though it was the Irish whiskey. I made that as an iced tea and put a shot of... Um, curveball in a cup or in a glass rather and stir that with the whiskey iced tea that's pretty good so try that if you have curveball um with the irish whiskey tea um it might also be good with baileys uh and the irish cream flavored one definitely would be good with baileys and but don't i wouldn't try it with a strong flavored whiskey like it would not go well with curveball Definitely would not go well with Screwball either. Fireball would probably overpower it, so that one's best. Actually, no. I take that back. I think I did do Irish cream with a little bit of the curveball. I I, I take I correct myself. I think I did put a little bit with that. It was it was good. But it's better with the straight up Connemara Kitchen Irish whiskey. It's oh, it's it's not bad. It's pretty good with the milk and a little bit of um, curveball. But a regular a regular whiskey, re regular Irish whiskey, or um, Bailey's of Irish cream, an Ir an actual Irish cream would be really good with it. So I've given you. It's almost twenty minutes. I've given you a rambly tea review <clears throat> because I'm kind of sort of awake because I didn't you know I slept okay I slept kind of fitfully it was hot and humid and my chest is congested and I'm gonna wrap this up and you know some random horror movie suggestions some of which I've seen some of which I haven't seen <clears throat> um and that's it so keep it dark keep it weird if 
If you are following the 100 Days of Halloween, check out Neva at Manic Mamba Musings and Trisha's Creative Treasures and um, some of the other ones as well. Um, I'm not sure about all their links. If I was collaborating with them, I would load, I would load, load the links, include the links, but I'm not collabing with them. So it doesn't really behoove me to put their links, but I will mention them right here. Um, especially if you're into crafting and even if you're not into crafting, they, um, have a, like I said, the hundred days of Halloween, they're watching horror movies and letting you know what they, how they are, giving you a review. And if you do craft, um, but you don't have a channel, they also have something set up to where you can take pictures of your creations that you're doing during the hundred days of Halloween, and you can send them to Neva. And if you go to her and go to Neva's channel and she has her email where you can send pictures and she will compile a bunch of pictures of Halloween crafts that you guys are doing and she'll post them there. Again, this is not a crafting channel. I do DIYs periodically. I've done a few dolls. I haven't done anything recently. I need to fix the bob and tension on my sewing machine and then I can and find a space for my sewing machine. And once 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 that's done, I will try to do some more sewing again. But DIY is on hold. Dolls are on hold for right now. Um, I'm going to do some Halloween shopping. I'm going to let you guys go. Next week or the within well within the next couple of weeks because I've got a long a long pay week a long pay month coming up so I might be able to pick up some goodies so I'll show you the goodies and have some reviews of those again sorry I'm rambling again keep it dark keep it weird Halloween has already started enjoy your shopping I will do my shopping again it's not going to be the massive hauls I had been doing I'm downscaling until I can get more space. Because I learned my lesson the hard way. So, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit the bell twice if you want to know what kind of nonsense I'm going to be up to. I'll see you next time. I love you guys. Bye now.